Hello my spooky children, it's me Ghost Girl and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Lord Shiver and my connection to Lord Shiver. Lord Shiver is a Hindu god and is one of the main deities of Hinduism. Lord Shiver is one of the most complex gods of India embodying seemingly contradictory qualities. He is the destroyer of toxic relationships and the restorer of order. He is the symbol of sensuality, the benevolent herdsman of souls and the wrathful avenger. He was originally known as Rudra, a minor deity. He later gained importance after absorbing some of the characteristics of an earlier fertility god and became Lord Shiva. He often wears a snake rolled around his upper arms and neck, symbolising the power he has over the most deadly of creatures. Snakes are also used to symbolise reincarnation in Hinduism. They are a natural process of shedding their skin as symbolised of the human souls transmitting from one body to another and from one life to another. Lord Shiva's life is para because of his generosity towards his life. Lord Shiva is considered an ideal role model for a husband. So now that I've shared with you some Lord Shiva facts, I'm going to be talking about my personal experience with Lord Shiva. Um, so I've been working with Lord Shiva for a while now. He was the second deity that I ever worked with um, and uh, because um, I wasn't very experienced uh, with uh, deity work at the time. Um, I was, had only been working with one deity at the time which was Anubis um, and because I was only 20 years old at the time um, Lord Shiva has been very graceful, he's been very lenient and he's also been very patient with me um, because he knew, and I knew that I didn't know what I was really doing at the time while um, I first started working with him. How I started working with him was, um, I am actually an astral traveller and uh, one time when I was travelling, um, I came across this unknown place and it was like, I was just surrounded by what I could only describe as just nothingness. It was just all white and like nothing was like there, just all white. And as you can tell, um, I was freaking out because I thought, gosh, don't tell me I've got lost in the astral world um, because trust me it has happened and thankfully when you're astral traveling um, you have a silver cord attached to you which um, attaches back to your body so if you ever get lost you just pull on that silver cord until you're either back to your body or you're, you're not lost anymore. After I appeared in 
this nothingness and started having, which was basically a panic attack. Um, all of a sudden, um, the scenery started changing around me and uh, all of a sudden I was surrounded by like jungle or like kind of wind forest, you know, uh, and then there was this large tree in front of me and then I noticed a snake started to sliver down this tree and then um, the snake spoke to me and he identified himself as Lord Shiva and then transformed into the form of Lord Shiva and then was speaking to me and asked me to work with him and that he wanted my devotion and that um, he said to me that um, I was surrounded by a lot of toxic people and that he was the destroyer of toxic relationships as in he could help me get rid of these toxic people in my life in order for me to live my purpose and live the life that I want to live um, and Lord Shiva is really good with that um, he's really helped me a lot um, at cutting out people in my life so um, I had a lot of toxic people in my life um, round about the time that I met Lord Shiva um, toxic family members I was in a toxic friendship circle like all these people weren't really like my true friends they were just pretending to be and uh, working with Lord Shiva helped me realise like that all these people weren't actually who they were pretending to be like in front of me like they were actually quite snaky and were doing things like behind my back to try and hurt me. Um, I also was in an abusive relationship at, later on, not at this exact point. I was in an abusive relationship and I had a girl who um, claimed to be my best friend. She said that I was her best friend, but to be honest with you, she wasn't mine. Um, but yeah, she ended up um, sleeping with my current boyfriend at the time that was abusing me. And um, Lord Shiva helped me to see all that. And uh, I was uh, able to leave that relationship because of his health and all the toxic relationships that were in my life. Um, I've left all the toxic friends that were hurting me and uh, I've cut off all my toxic family members. Like, I don't even speak to them anymore and he's done like a lot for me. Um, and now I, I'm a lot happier with these people in my life and uh, cause a lot of these people as well were just distractions and were like stopping me from doing like what I want to do with my life and now that these people aren't there I'm able to just focus on my own happiness and what I'm wanting to do. Um, so if you've got like a lot of toxic and horrible people in your life that just bring you down, um, I would recommend working with Lord Shiva because uh, he's really good at getting rid of toxic relationships and bringing order into your life. He's also really good at removing obstacles. Um, I've found that um, I've had a lot of obstacles 
in my life and then like Lord Shiver has uh, just been brilliant and getting rid of obstacles in my life so that I can achieve like my goals that I want to achieve um, when obviously I started working with uh, Lord Shiver I was kind of like Mr. Lord Shiver, um, I can worship you if you want, but just to let you know about my personal situation, um, my mum's a proper hardcore Christian, so I was saying to him, like, um, you're, I'm not going to be able to worship you, like, in a big, extravagant, fancy way, like, most of your do devotees do, um, your name's going to have to go in a box and uh, the offerings that I give you are going to have to go in a box and uh, <laughs> it's going to have to be hidden, the box, just to kind of let you know like that's the situation that uh, I'm in and uh, thankfully you were the very understanding and uh, yeah, it's very difficult being a pagan and a, being surrounded by a toxic, hardcore Christian family. Um, but I'm going to now talk about like the signs of Lord Shiver and a, how he might be calling you or be with you and trying to um, get your attention. So signs of Lord Shiver are seeing his name everywhere, seeing images of Lord Shiver everywhere, or references to Hinduism, having his name appear on your news feeds, images of him appearing on your news feeds even though you don't really watch content like or look at content related to Hinduism or Lord Shiver. Um, also having him appear to you in meditation is another thing that happens. Seeing him or having him appear to you in dreams. Um, having a sense of calmness even though like your life is complete pandemonium, you just feel really calm. Seeing angel numbers everywhere and having angel numbers appear on your news feeds and stuff even though it may not be content that you watch or stuff that you look at. Finding that some previous issues or obstacles that you have in your life just miraculously disappear. Having visions of Lord Shiver as well. And also getting feelings that you've been touched or blessed by a divine spirit. When you hear the name Lord Shiver, it brings a immense sensation of peace and you feel at ease whenever you hear his name and you could also have an experience like me in the astral realm where he comes forth and he uh, asks to work with you. Um, I'm not a Hindu by any means, um, I don't work with any of the um, deities in Hinduism. I just uh, work with him. He's the only Hindu deity that uh, I actually work with. I do, however, work with uh, a lot of the ancient Greek deities and a lot of the ancient Egypt deities. But um, I'll be getting to that and later content. So some offerings that you could give Lord Shiva are there's a gem called Shiva Langam which um, you can place on 
your altar for him. He likes that stone. You can also offer him milk, water, honey, sandalwood paste, fragrance oils, he loves them, bell leaves, caltropis flowers, he likes sapphire as well, chamois leaves, he also likes the colours green, yellow, pink and orange and white so maybe if you're doing artwork for him you can do it in those colours or maybe leave in material or clothing um, at those colours on his altar. Datura flowers Shiva Manic flowers, Nelum, Orlando flowers, Lotus flowers, and Fumble flowers. So I hope you've enjoyed this video about Lord Shiva and that um, you learned a lot from it and that um, you feel confident enough to approach Lord Shiva now and uh, you never know maybe you might go and make an altar for him after making this video um, I'm not going to tell you what to do but um, I hope you all enjoyed this video today my spooky children please like this video comment down below subscribe share this video and also don't forget to follow me on my socials i'm on twitter and i'm on patreon and if you should follow me on twitter and become a patreon of mine i'd be very grateful for that also i'm doing tarot card readings on my patreon so if you would like to see a tarot card reading from me then please follow me on my patreon i also do private readings so if you would like a private reading there are a mixture of tarot and channeled messages from spirit so if you are interested in a reading then please email me readings are 30 pound and my email is linked in the description down below also i've got a surprise for you guys um i'm not telling you what it is just yet but a little hint is that it's got something to do with the poll that i posted in my community tab so if you could please vote in the poll that i posted in the community tab i would be very grateful for that so that is everything for me today, my spooky children. I hope you have enjoyed this video today and goodbye.